Hey everyone, Justin the Bearded Bowtie back again, reporting live from inside the crematory. Man, it's kind of hot in here. Hey, hey, wait, who's closing the door? That's enough of that guy. We're going to talk about cremation. Let's go. Once you've passed away, we get the call and we pick up your body and once we bring you into our care, you come in something that looks like this. Once you're at the funeral home, we take you to the next step. Once you're brought into our care, you're put in a cremation container and then placed under specialized refrigeration. No, not this kind of refrigeration, but a much larger version of this. And once you're done with refrigeration, we move on to the next step and that's where things get a little hot. And then you come in here, where it gets up to 1600 degrees, which is the temperature needed to finalize the cremation process. Once the cremation is complete, as far as you're aware, they move on to the next step and place you in a large processor. Fancy word for large blender. But once the process is complete, you resemble ash. Now, keep in mind, you're not actually ash like you find in a campfire. Ash is your bones, and it's ground down into a fine powder, which resembles ash. Now that you've been put into your final form, that's when the urn comes in. We put you inside of the urn, and we place you inside of a plastic liner inside of that, and that's when we close it up and we're able to pass it back to your family. You doing okay in there? Hey, get me out of here. Oh well, like and subscribe.